What's up guys? Welcome back to Blind Man Walking. My name is John. That dingling you see up ahead is Neeson. Neeson is my guide dog, but right now he's enjoying some off-leash time in a secured location. And I'm just using my cane. Come on, bud. Neeson's four years old. Comes from Guide Dogs for the Blind in California. Neeson, come on. So he wears the bell for a pretty obvious reason. Uh, I can't see. <laughs> so he wears the bell so I know where he is. Although he never strays too far. He's, he's clingy. Gorgeous day here today. So when I'm using my cane, I just, there are various techniques people use when using a cane. I just use a mishmash of all of them. I basically just swing it from side to side in front of me to clear my way of obstacles or dogs. Move it, mister. Hope wherever you guys are, the weather's good. It's very nice here. A little bit of rain earlier today, but not too much. Nissan, let's go. So the only rule that Nissan and I have when we walk together is he has to stay ahead of me. Outside of that, he's free to do pretty much whatever. Move it. Little whack on the butt to get him moving. <laughs> so he's a yellow Labrador Retriever, four years old. Just turned four at the beginning of March. He was raised in California, but he lives in Canada. So the weather that he was raised in, a little warmer than uh, what the climate he lives in now. I remember when I brought him home, initially he was on our colder mornings, he would be shivering a little bit <laughs> when, when we were like waiting for the bus or just out early. He's my third dog. Neeson, let's go. Neeson, let's go. I had a, a black lab before him who is still alive. He just turned 14 years old. I will link a video in the description to a video that features him. <laughs> His name is Lars. And then my first guide dog was named Luther. Big yellow lab. Um, unfortunately, Luther is in doggy heaven. I had to put him down when he was 10. He developed Cushing's disease, which for those of you who don't know, it's a very unpleasant disease for a dog to live with. It's basically the pituitary gland stops functioning. Uh, he was on a bunch of the different medication. He probably had a fair bit more time to live, but his quality of life was negative zero. <laughs> so I made the tough choice to put him down. Very tough choice, but that's when you get a guide dog or a dog in general, you never think about the end game. You know, and guide dogs, you develop a bond with the guide dog that is not comparable to that of a pet. You know, these dogs are your left arm, if you will. They go every, everywhere with you. Um, any guide dog owner will tell you the same thing. So there's, I'm on a trail right now that for my blind viewers, there is trees to my left, <laughs> trees to my right, a yellow lab in front of me. Move it. And it'll whack with the cane to get him going. <laughs> Good boy, Neeson. Want a treat? Neeson, come. I'll see if I can get him to say hi to you guys. Sit. Speak. Speak. Sit. Sit. 
Listen, sit. Thank you. Good boy. I know you're excited. On your marks. Get set. Go. He's gone. <laughs> so Neeson, I believe he has five siblings. Um, one I know is a breeder, a breeding stock dog. One I know was career changed. Not sure about the other, the other ones. Hi there. Well, oh, Neeson, you got a friend. Working on the training? No, he's graduated. What? No, he's four. He's four. <laughs> yeah, um, he's my guide dog. No, I didn't say that. I said, is, no. I said you were working on training. You're keeping. Oh training yes, on. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. He oh yes. Yeah, because he isn't. Mine isn't. Okay. But that's okay. They should be getting along. Come on, Drummond. Yeah, Come on. they're getting along just fine. fine. Come on, Drummond. I just don't want to get knocked down because they play. That's why I have oh, okay, to okay. tree. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, we we'll go by. He's not going to jump on me, but if the no. two together, okay. we start to play. We'll go by. Okay, nice dog. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Neeson, come on, bud. Good boy. Good boy, Neeson. So, I love being able to allow Neeson to socialize with other dogs like that. A, a lot of guide dog users... Um never give their dogs off leash time so th th they never get to interact with other dogs and I I really don't like that it's it's important for dogs to be dogs these guys are not robots they have emotions feelings so oh I've got some friends up here too <clears throat> so this is a 10k trail laps around A lot of people come out here for uh, exercise. I'm one of them. So for those of you who are blind, I have a GoPro that is strapped to my head. I purchased the GoPro about two months ago. I love it. Uh, it has a fisheye lens, so wide view which means I don't have to be right aiming at exactly what I'm taking a video or photo of as long as I'm in the ballpark. <laughs> Neeson, Neeson come, hop up. And not super close, it'll pick it up, which is great. There are voice com commands as well, which makes it pretty easy to use. There's a bunch of different mounts too. You can mount it on different parts of you or, uh, yeah, there's different mount options that you can use to mount it in a variety of different places. That's right. no, okay. Hi there. Yeah. Not a lot of dogs, more dogs out here. It's a very nice afternoon. So on our right behind the trees is a lake. So the further we get on this trail, the more it gets a little colder and more windy. Neeson, come on. As we get closer to just water. Oh, Neeson's having a little lab moment. <laughs> Couple of random guide dog facts for you guys before I end the video. Uh, guide dogs generally spend the first year of their lives in foster homes. So Neeson, from nine weeks old until just over a year, he was raised by an awesome couple who I stay in touch with in California. And then he went back for evaluation and full training. So they spend about a year in foster homes and then they go back for evaluation and training and that process usually takes three to four months 
Neeson, come on. Come. Get your nose out of that bush, mister. And then if they graduate, we go, clients will go and train with the dogs for a couple weeks. It used to be a month, years ago. Now it's two weeks. They've really compressed the uh, process. And then we get to bring the dogs home. Uh, the most popular breed of dog for guide work is the Labrador Retriever. Uh, the typical working life of a dog would be, I don't know, minimum six years. A lot depends on their longevity, how well they're looked after, stuff like that. Excluding like uh, factors that are outside of your control, like disease, some health issues. Neeson, come. Neeson, heel. He's gonna put his leash on him because there's a horse coming. This is pretty sweet. Neeson, heel. Thank you. Hello. Hi there. How are you? There's a big horsey Neeson. What a cute dog. Uh huh. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's a horsey. Yeah. Good boy. See you, horsey. A little bit of a trot. Oh, I'm glad I caught that on camera. That's cool. Go. <laughs> cool. So that happens every now and again on this trail, uh, the ran random horse and rider. Pretty cool. There's often deer on this trail as well. Oh, I'm glad I got that on camera. That's pretty sweet. Just out here horsing around. <laughs> okay, a couple more guide dog facts for you guys. Uh, chocolate Labradors are not, are very seldomly used uh, for guide work. It's because they're a little bit too high strung, a little bit, a little bit too much energy, a little bit crazy dogs, no, a little bit crazy. Uh, guide dogs for the blind was founded back in. Oh God, I'm gonna get this wrong. I'm gonna be vague. Uh, 1940s. Oh, there's a bit of rain right here. 1940s and has grown into the biggest school, I believe in the world, which is pretty sweet. Pretty cool. Okay, dude, we're gonna turn here, bud. Nice and come. Thank you. Good boy, go. Um, guide dogs can go in restaurants if they are clean and well behaved. They can. They do get time off, as you can clearly see right now. <laughs> they do get plenty of play time as long as the owner has that, the uh, capability to make that happen. I don't know if you guys can see the rain or not. I can definitely feel it, obviously. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, we're definitely closer to the water because it's, it's colder for sure. All right guys, I'm, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys all, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any guide dog questions, just drop them in the comments and uh, I'll reply to you. Hope you all have a good day. Cheers. <laughs>